Hey, what's going on? Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. So, this video is going to be about um, changing your mindset from a company driver into an owner-operator. And it, it's more about mindset than actually what you do. Um, so, when you're a company driver, now, I'm not getting on anybody. Everybody has to start somewhere. And it's not my intent to offend you. So, because I was a company driver at one point um, for 10, 11, 12, 13, something, I don't know, something like that. So, I know what y'all be doing in them trucks or what you don't be doing. Uh, so, you know, so I'm going to give you an example. Maybe some of y'all do this, some of y'all don't. When you're at a stop and you go to put the truck in the gear, some guys don't let the gear stop turning. They, you know, you push the clutch in all the way and let the gear start stop turning and then you put the truck in gear. Well, some guys don't do that. They just, you know, they just jam the truck in the gear and the truck jumps and everything. You know, you can't do that no more. Um, tearing up tires, you know, running over stuff that you know stuff is there instead of getting out and moving it or, or repositioning yourself, you know, you just run it over, pop tires, you know, bend up rims and stuff like that. You can't do that no more. Um, you shouldn't be doing it anyway. I mean, come on, man. I mean, you know, these guys, not these guys, but these, these business owners, company donors, business owners, whatever, you know, they, they put you know, a lot of money into these trucks. It costs a lot of money to get these things fixed. And you know, if you got an employee tearing stuff up all the time, you know, it's 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 not good. Um. So you know, guys, we had this one guy at the one company I worked for. Now I haven't worked for a lot of companies since I had you know been a commercial driver. Um. But. This uh, this was back in uh, when I was driving a Trias dump truck. If the guy didn't like the job he was going, this is an older guy too. He was like in his fifties. Yeah, he was in his fifties, maybe even sixties. If the guy didn't like the job he was going to, he would create a situation for himself to where he couldn't go to the job. So he would <laughs> he would go he would kick the airline off, you know, the brake chamber. He would kick it off, so he would have to sit. And have somebody else come out, you know, have a mechanic come out and fix the truck. And that way, you know, he couldn't, you know, do the run because he would have been out of time. Stuff like that. So, y'all be can't be doing that. I know some of y'all be doing that. Y'all can't be doing that stuff no more. Um, so, I mean, I'm not going to go through the whole list because, remember, I was a company driver. I used to do some of these things. I didn't do all of them until I realized, wait a minute, I'm, you know, creating... Uh, if the boss is not making any money and I'm costing him money, um, I ain't going to have a job. So I learned very quick. I was like, nah, I ain't going to be either doing that stuff no more. Um, so now that we focus on, the, on the, the negative, let's focus on the positive of what you should be doing. Uh, calculate your fuel. How many miles do you run a day on average? And then, you know, calculate how many gallons of fuel that you'll need to get to where you're going and back um, at the end of the year it'll all come out to about the same but what you're doing is you're creating cash flow for your boss so and it's going to teach you um, how to create cash flow for yourself when you get your own truck um, I'll talk about that in a different video, but this is just a kind of like a general overview. Um, show up early. Show up early on, on your job. Or if you're, you know, if you're a company, or uh, depend on, you know, if you, a job or, you know, if you uh, uh, go on to a, a shipper or to the receiver, show up early. Be early for your appointments. Um, use load locks. You know, some guys don't use low locks. I was one of them. <laughs> Till I 
you know, cost me some money. What's up? Nah, -uh. use load locks. All right. Um, you know, I mean, it's all kinds of different things, but you got to work work on changing your mindset and doing things as if it was your own truck. If you're running your own truck, now some things you can't do because you know you're working for a big company, your mom and pop companies. You know, offer to do things. Uh, just offer to do things on your own. Uh, and don't ask for comp. I mean, if they want to pay you for it, they want to pay you for it. But it's more of a mindset thing of getting your mind ready, training your mind, conditioning your mind to transition into being, you know, uh, basically boss status for your for your own company. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, it all comes down to mindset. Um, get your mind right. Get your mind right. Get your mind right. Oh, there's only so much information. I mean, there's a lot of information on out there about how to be an owner operator. But until you get into it and physically start doing things, um, your experience is going to come, you know, with actually doing. Um, so that's all for this video. So. Think about what you can do to change your mindset and drive the truck that you're driving as if it was your own and see how much money you can save or make, you know.